these things we count on every day started as ideas. Ideas from the minds of African Americans. Support minority education today so we don't miss out on the next big idea tomorrow. The United Negro College Fund. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. We work directly and indirectly with the biotech and life science industry, and through those relationships and interactions, it became more evident to us that we are, as African Americans, aren't represented in the sciences and, in particular, biotechnology and life science uh, careers. Uh, myself, I actually completed my postdoc at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia uh, this past September and came on board full time to serve as the executive director of iPraxis. But my own experiences being a postdoc at Children's Hospital sort of further fueled my interest and passion for what I'm doing because I was in an environment where I was one of very few African Americans at the postdoctoral level. And um, even uh, so, even at that level, it's very obvious that we have a lot of work to do in terms of getting more of us um, um, at, at that level. So. Some of the obstacles are, well, we're talking about the old regime. A lot of, uh, of, of, of the sciences in general is dominated by white males. And a lot of the old regime don't necessarily see African Americans in that light in terms of being able to uh, sort of flex their uh, uh, muscles in terms of our brain uh, power and ability to be creative and, and uh, critical thinking problem solving problem solvers and so that perception is one major hurdle that I myself had to get um, to, to get through uh, but I was I was blessed in the fact that I had a pretty good support network at the University of Maryland College Park my uh, advisor was actually african-american and there were a number of people in uh, the School of Engineering that were very supportive of African Americans and minorities going through the program and graduating and, and becoming successful. So I think that's important to keep in mind is that Af if, you, if your interests lie in pursuing an advanced degree of any sort to make sure that the environment in which you choose to do that is, is supportive of that effort because that is a huge uh, or could potentially be a huge stumbling block. For your, for your progress progression. Also, in terms of just recruitment, mm -hmm. they don't necessarily do as an extensive job of recruiting us into uh, the schools as they do um, our white counterparts, mm -hmm. and that's just uh, that's just how it is. And so, I think that will be uh, to the demise of our country as we continue to progress and become more global and not being able to extend the opportunities to everyone and not utilizing all of our human resources mm -hmm. uh, and making sure that we, we have a solidly educated group of people to sustain uh, what we have here um, and, and to help us continue in, in, in innovation and, and moving forward in technology. I think it sort of behooves us as a society and as a country to figure out ways to make uh, engineering and science more inclusive for everyone because that's the only way we'll be able to compete. Interestingly enough, there are a lot of foreign opportunities, um, and I don't think necessarily uh, people of color or African Americans really think globally. I think we're sort of socialized to look at things in a very sort of narrowly focused way, but there are a lot of opportunities that abound in Europe and Asia. Uh, in other parts of the world that um, I don't necessarily think that we're as open to. Uh, and that, again, is due to socialization, due to exposure. Uh, but I think in order for those situations to come about and to be effective, we, African Americans and minorities uh, need to really be more um, uh, prepared to meet those challenges, and I think our students particularly aren't uh, taught to think globally, and therefore they aren't prepared to compete at many levels in the sciences, and uh, that too contributes to uh, our, our success and our failure in the sciences.